Hey loves, um, good day. Today I'll be going straight into today's video, which is going to be like a get ready with me kind of video. I'm going to be fast with it because I have to go out now and it's about to rain. So while you guys are getting ready with me, I will also be telling you a very short but funny story. True life story happened to me when I was in, um, I think I was in primary school then. I actually remember this story because recently I was added to a group chat on WhatsApp um, of my primary school alumni people. I don't know how come, but they added me to that group and you know everybody was just sharing their stories, like things they can remember that happened back then. So somebody reminded me of that story actually. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? Why not share it with my family? So, um, like I said, I will be getting ready because I have to go out. Um, so, I, I'm actually going to use this. I won't be doing any naming or anything because, first off, I'm not even a makeup artist. I just know how to do my own makeup. Uh, anyways, um, so, this actually happened while I was in... Um, <laughs> guys, please try as much as possible not to laugh at me. This particular story, the issue happened while I was in primary school. So I don't know if I've mentioned on this, on my channel before that I was quite a sports child, kind of. But you know, I always try to like form street, form art girl, all of that. So it happened that one day while I was in primary school, I think primary four or five. Um, and normally my dad used to, my dad used to come pick me after school hours so on this particular day he had to um he had to travel so um he sent one of the school teachers to me that i'd have to go home by myself that he would not be able to come pick me and me i didn't know that on our street like while going home if you see me looking down there's a mirror here so that's what I'm actually, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> so I didn't know that um, in our street, on our street back then where we used to live, there were people that were hating on me because probably my dad had a car and he used to like pull me in front of his car while going home. I just don't even know where the eight came from. So anyways, as my dad told me that and well I was happy he didn't come to pick me that particular day because I wanted to see what the other kids felt I wanted to know what they felt going on themselves in group you know all of those things because they used to come back to class and like gist us that oh when they were going home yesterday something something happened you know they had that inside joke kind of thing so I was happy that particular day that ah, okay well at least me too when we are going home in group i'll get to feel i'll get to be in the mix and you know so when we get to school the next day i'll be able to put mouth when they are just what happened when they were going home so mm, in short we shall now going but i noticed that before we left the school about three of them they were like they formed one car cause they, they were in one corner, they were talking. I was not, I couldn't go because I don't know, it was like a cultist kind of thing because they were just there. I mean, I was standing there and I was just waiting for them to finish so that we can all go because we actually lived on the same street. Some lived like at the next street, but you know how that kind of thing is. So, mm, we were sure now going, I was like, ah, okay. But the thing is that on a normal day, these people and I, we were not friends. Like, we were not friends. Probably they didn't like me or something. But in primary school, I was a cool kid. I don't care what they are saying in that group chat. I was a very, very cool person. So we were going, you know, I stopped by somewhere. I bought snacks. I bought drinks. I asked them, do you people want? About two of them said, yeah, they don't mind so they took it from me they ate it i shall notice that when some of them took the snacks from me and ate it they formed another 
carcass again and they were just discussing something that I don't know. So the two people that actually took the snacks from me, the other ones stopped working with them. So those ones were working with me because probably they betrayed <laughs> probably they betrayed them. So they were like, okay, we're not going to work with you guys again. Since you're friends with her, go and work with her. Me, I didn't even know how the whole thing works. So me, I was sure working with those one shot we were shot going you know, you know we'll stop throw stones we'll stop laugh so it made the journey kind of slow so our refreshment had finished at the point and i was kind of thirsty so i now saw one there was one rich man on like the street before my own then he had this bottle thingy in front of his house so i now bought out my water my bottled water my water bottle i don't know what that's called and i brought it out to like use the bottle to um take water and drink water like get home you know how primary school kids are so asha went there that was our one of the one of the other one of the other um one of the other kids in the crew of the one that did not collect snacks from me that was actually was like Eh, uh, do you know how these things work? How can you go and be taking water there? Do you know the owner of the house? Do you know if they allow people to take water? I was like, in my head, I was like, this thing is outside now. It means anybody can actually take water there. If this, if the owner of the house does not want us, if, if the owner of the house does not want people to take water, the, the bottle will be inside his compound where people will not be able to access. But since it's outside, why can't I take water? So I was trying to tell the girl that ah, what's your problem? How can you be saying um how can you be saying why am I taking water? Is it your water? And you know the way the girl the way we were already going and this girl was like trying to turn people against me, not talking to people that took snacks from me, not you know all of that vibe. Me, I was already eating her like if I sand this girl, if I slap her. So I just took it up immediately and I was like, you can't tell me what to do. Is it your father's house? Is it your business? What's your own? <clears throat> I didn't know that beating was waiting for me. Because this girl is one papo girl. She has strong bones in. <laughs> so I sh shouted at that like, it's none of my business. I can take water anywhere I want and she should not put her mouth. So as I was not taking the water. So the ones that took snacks from me were like, she should leave me alone. That it was none of our business that since it's not her father's house that she has no right to tell me not to take water and that by the way they used to take water there every day whenever they are going back home that so was now stopping me that why is she stopping me from taking water there that she just wants to fight that she's a troublemaker ah me i was happy that yes they are taking my side i have friends I have gang. I'm not in the gang. Or even inside the gang, I form my own gang. You know that kind of thing. So I was taking the water. So I took a little first. I drank it. Like I got this. I drank it. Then I was like, okay, let me take. Let me fill my bottle so that while, um, like for the remaining um, hours or minutes that I would reach home, I'll be able to drink the remaining water. And I was just taking the water like this. Ha! If you see the way this girl just jumped, she just came, she just hit my bottle away from the um, from the faucet that the water comes up from. She just hit my bottle. I was like, so that first one I took was not enough for me. Do I want to finish the water? Do I want to? Ah. So in my head, I was like, finish which water exactly? Do you know how much water that is even left in that? Um, in the water tank why is it that it is this small bottle that i'm going to take that is going to now make the whole water finish so while she was doing that those that took snacks from me they were already gingering me that anyhow this girl wants this today i should give her i should finish her i should beat her if it's fine she wants that they are on my side though hmm. so in my head i thought that if this thing later turns to a fight the guys that were on my side they will join me and finish this girl and meanwhile i cannot fight but 
Back then, in my house, we used to watch wrestling a lot. My dad and my brother, they liked all those WWE programs. They used to watch it like almost every day. There is always one thing for them to watch relating to wrestling. So me too, I used to watch. I was like, ah. In my head, I was like, me, I used to watch wrestling. No, I will use all those techniques and finish this girl today. <laughs> I did not know that. The beating that is waiting for my head is the one that is making me to feel that way. So, I was trying to imagine how I'm going to carry her and throw her and beat her and punch her in my head. Ha, the next thing, this girl, very razz somebody. In fact, I don't like her. How can she do that to me? She just threw her sand like, Papa, eh, I'm telling you, don't take water. Do you want to finish it? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, you are crazy. In fact, I think I was even the one that even thought, made the team turn to fight because I thought I had backing. I thought I had people that would, you know, join me in the fight when it actually breaks. I was like, are you mad? Is it your father's house? I think that is it your father's house that I said was the one that even made her angry. Eh, let's see this guy does say, eh, we are talking here. Yeah. You know those children English now. We are talking here. Yeah. You are involving my father. Is my father your mate? Something, 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 something. I was like, eh, when you are talking as if it's your father that owns the house, blah, 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 blah. I was ready. Me too. I already pulled my bag because I already made calculations in my head that that Ray Mysterio style that he used to do that he would put someone on the side rope and he would just give the person kick from the front. In my head, I was like, that's what I'm going to use to finish this girl. There's nothing anybody can tell me because there was like a gutter there. So I was like, I'll push her. She will lean on the gutter and I'll just run to the front and just give her a kick from the front. That was my calculation. Hmm. And now, when she was shy, making my mouth, I was making mouth. And I'll give someone my bag. Me too, and I'll put my bag and give somebody like, okay, this girl, we are going to finish this whole thing today. Maybe at least you even start respecting me because my dad used to come and pick me. You think I can't fight? You think I'm one body, body child? I'll show you today. Brothers and sisters, brethren in the Lord. You see the time that this girl removed her sandals, dropped her bags, and gave someone a water bottle. This girl just came to meet me. She was quite taller than me, okay. This girl just came. Lo and behold, she lifted this sister up. Up, up, up. And threw me to the ground. That was the first round of the beating. She now sat down on me. And she was not even punching me, she was slapping me. You know, when you are beating somebody like that person is your child or that person is your younger sister. This girl, she schooled me. She <laughs> oh my god. Oh didn't know me by Oh no. You know when you reverse say one or shake shake in your lara. The one that she even beat my body. I'm sure that is more than shake shake. So when I was fighting, I was not using one side of my eyes to like look for the people that already helped me to eat my snacks. You see, in this life, there are, there are betrayers in every stage of somebody's life. Imagine at that very young age, I already had a that. I had people that betrayed me. Because these girls, this, I think it was a girl and a guy that took my snacks. They were there watching somebody beat me after they were already eating my biscuits. And they were the ones I was even saying I should not mind her. They were just shouting, hey, leave her, leave her. Instead of them to actually come, and you know help me instead of them to come and take my side and let us join hands and beat this girl that was how the shot beat me oh and my mom is if anybody watching this knows my mom you would know that my mom is one very very strict woman so why this girl shot she shot finished beating me she pounded me like yeah she really really did beat me so and my bottle, my school sander, everything was like in different locations. I was shy crying, I was packing my things. Those rubbish betrayers, baby betrayers that ate my snacks and didn't even help me beat the girl. They were shy helping me look for my stuff. And I begged them that they should please, they should follow me home so I can go and tell my, so that we can go and explain to my mommy together and even lie that it was not even me that caused the fight though. That when the girl said, let's fight. I said I was not going to fight that. I even ran that, but she 
dragged me and she started beating me that I didn't even beat my mom back. Asha wanted to like tell the story in a way that my mom would not be pissed with me. They said, okay, no problem. So that girl shall beat me. She and her crew, they shall beat me, they shall left. So me, after picking, after doing walk of shame back to my house, me that they have beat, they have panel beat my life. Ah, one know me. Since then, I don't think anybody, the only person that I've ever beaten like that is my mom that I felt the pain because I was embarrassed when that it happened in front of our mates. So, which means in future self, if there's going to be any kind of fight, I cannot make mouth that I can fight. Because if I make mouth that I can fight, these people will actually come and say, I am lying. I cannot fight because one person have already beat me and they were a witness. Ah, I was like, God, what kind of shame is this? So before that one even came to mind, I was like, how am I going to explain to my mom what happened to my uniform and why I am dirty like that? So I shall do those girls that, okay, um, you're going to follow me home. Let's go and explain to my mom. So immediately we got to the gate. Ah, the girls were like, eh, ah, they have to go to their own house. So one thing, one thing, they can't, eh? I was like, eh, is it the one that you people did then that I was just looking at you that i don't want to say anything you people should not even try rubbish if it's that we're all going to die on the line yeah? they were not like eh, no my, they are scared of my mom that my mom is always like frowning her face she doesn't smile that no they can't even stand in front of her and be explaining that kind of thing huh. mind you i have never fought i've never had any physical fight it's more to me i have i can abuse people and all because the teachers know me as a cool girl that I don't make troubles. So even if the person goes to report that I abused them, the teacher will be like, You're lying. Her mama is a good girl. She doesn't fight. Definitely you're the one that looks for her trouble. So I usually have the upper hand. So I didn't know that it was all those things that were already annoying this gang of betrayers and the girl that actually beat me up. I didn't know that it was all those things that was already like annoying her then i made her to beat me up so those people were shy, like ah, they can't follow me to my parents to my mom in particular to explain anything how i was not like this is another round of trouble what am i going to tell my mom so luckily for me when i peeped into the compound my mom's car was not there meaning she wasn't back from work yet i'm supposed to set this but i don't think i have time for that so i'll just like put my powder so i now told um so when i got home my sister was home already and i now told her like ah don't tell mommy i came home dirty i'm going to quickly wash this clothes which i don't even do before they actually helped me wash my uniform so i was like i'm going to actually wash this Wash this cloth myself so that she won't see that it is dirty and oh so I washed the clothes. So while the whole fight was going on, people on the street they saw us. That is even the part that was annoying me. So you people saw somebody beating me. You cannot come and save me. But when my mom was coming back from work, you had the time to stop her to actually tell her that I was involved in a fight. That's these human beings are very, very wicked though. They are very, very wicked people. So I was shower. I shall wash the clothes. I dried it outside. So my mom came back. Uh, she even packed the outside. She was like, I should come out. So I went to meet outside. She was like, I was cool. What happened today? And me, I was not ready to tell her. Because why, why would I tell my mom I fought? So she came and was like, what happened? Oh, school was fine. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, school was fine. But the way she was asking me the questions, she was actually expecting me to tell her what happened in school and after school but little me i didn't know she already um i didn't know people on the streets already gossiped to her that i actually fought with somebody so she kept on asking are you sure nothing happened in school i said nothing happened that i was fine and um i'm just going to use gloss because i'm not going to a party so I was just telling her like, ah, nothing happened, we just were taught this, 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 this. Then she was like, are you really sure that nothing happened? I said nothing happened. And she was like, okay, that she wants to do... So she came into the house, she was like, she wants to do laundry. That I should bring my uniform. Ah, 
I was not like, ah, mommy, me, I'm a big girl. I started doing my laundry myself. That all my classmates they did their laundry. That me too. I want to start doing my laundry. That's all. I did the laundry before she came. So the laundry that I did, I only washed my uniform. I didn't wash my socks. So when she got to the when she got to the washroom, she saw the socks. And the socks looked like that of somebody that was eating because it was so dirty. She was still playing along, pretending like she didn't know what happened. So she called me, I was like, ah, why was my socks dirty? I was like, oh, that we played, that we did sports in school. That's so why I didn't want to use my shoe. So I used my socks to like run around and do all of that. Oh, she was like, okay. Mind you, do you know how many lies I've told her already? <laughs> she was just cooling down for me, like she just wanted me to satisfy myself and tell all the lies in the old world. Unknown to me, I just kept on lying, I just kept on telling her different things. And they were sound they sounded so believable. So she said she was playing along. So when my dad came back later at night, ah, my dad too was like, I was school. I said school was fine, we did sports, blah 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 blah. My mom was just quiet, which was so unusual of her. She was quiet. I didn't know that my mom had already gotten cane to like. She got the cane. She kept. She kept them. Where me or my younger sister wouldn't find it because. It, My um my mom already got cane. You know those cane? They, in Nigeria we call it epa. Those cane that does not used to break. They are always like bouncy, like when they beat you to but it doesn't break. I think it's all those outside people that came up with this. Very wicked people. That's a very nonsense invention. So my mom already did it. Then I lied to my dad again, like school was great, blah 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 blah. Mm. My mom was just looking at me. Then all of a sudden, she was just like, "When did you start lying?" I was like, "Lying? Me? Me lying? Why would I lie? School was fine. Nothing happened. But then, who did, who, who have they ever beaten that had mouths to say I was beaten? But my mom was like, she didn't expect me to even lie to that extent. I was telling like three different lies just to cover up one small thing." So I was, I was still insisting on the fact that I wasn't lying. My mom was like, shut up. So, 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 so person told me. In fact, I'm going to be told names, but you know yourself. In fact, I'm sure your kids will watch this video. Why did you go and tell my mom? Why? So you actually saw me fighting and you did not come and save me. You did not come and tell the girl to stop beating me. But you can go and tell my mom that I fought. Ah, mommy, I'm not going to forgive you, ma. Ma, you know yourself, your kids, they know this story. So she was not like, can you say it in the presence of Mrs. This, Mommy, blah, 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 that nothing really happened after school. I was like, who is that? Is she in our school? Why would she know if anything happened in our school? There was no even parent, teachers, meeting, whatever, that, she, that would make her come to the school. And her children used to take the school bus now how would she know if anything happened in school or after school my mom was not like my mom was just giving me the opportunity to lie and satisfy myself not knowing that the more i was lying the more my beating was like increasing she was not like oh yeah just so let's go to that mrs blah 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 house go and come and say it in her presence that nothing happened during school and after school. I was like, yes, let's go. Hmm. So while I entered, while we were going, because the house was not so far from our place. So while we were going there, my mom met another of our office person on the way. So she had to like slow down and greet the person. So I got to the compound before her. Immediately this woman saw me, she was like, ah, Bele, 
She ko she o ni injury she o hmm kini ko she asho o stain with blood. In my head, I was like, what? So this woman, she was the one that actually told my mom. Like, so she actually saw me. She saw me get whooped. She saw me being beaten. And she could not come and interfere. She could not come and save me. She stood up in her house watching everything play out. And now she can actually go and tell my mom that I fought. She didn't even say I was beaten. No. She said I fought like I was the troublemaker, like I was the one that started everything. Well, I think I was the one, but you know what I'm trying to say. So this woman Sha spot everything. No. She confirmed it. I couldn't lie anymore. My mom was just like, thank you. Eshema, you know what those Yoruba mothers are? She now took me back home. The beating was not here. My father could not even put him out. As if the beating the girl gave me was not even enough. My mother beat. In fact, in today, whenever I still remember that day, whenever I still remember that beating, and they even have to go and remind me in that my group that I joined. <sighs> my mother beat me, one, because I fought on the street, so I embarrassed her. Two, the fact that I even fought at all. Like, why would you fight? You are my mother's daughter. Why would you fight? For what reason? Then three, the fact that I was covering it up with lies and lies and lies. That girl was so pissed. My mom really beat me that. And since then, I never, ever got into a fight. It's better you even beat me than me starting up trouble. No, I never start up trouble. So this is my simple. This is my simple makeup. Nothing too serious. I just don't want to go out with um my bare face because. I actually miss having makeup on my face to go out. So, so that was that's my short story. If you have any um, memorable story from your primary school or from your secondary school that you want to share with us, share it with me in the comment section. Anyways, I've come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to um, I look good. No. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you have seen my face for the very first time, don't forget to click on the subscribe button because this girl has to grow on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be all for today. I need to get dressed and I have to go out because the rain started already. So see you guys in my next video. Have a nice week. Have a nice day. Have a... Yeah. <laughs> Peace, guys. <laughs>